Hey guys, I'm gonna to talk to you today about blood sugar imbalances and histamine intolerance and mast cell activation syndrome. So a lot of you don't know that there is a strong connection between histamine intolerance, mast cell activation syndrome, and blood sugar regulation issues. So histamine intolerance and mast cell activation syndrome can actually contribute to insulin resistance and also diabetes. So insulin resistance is kind of like the first step before you get to diabetes. It's when the sugar that is in our blood is supposed to be taken into the cell to be used for energy by insulin. Well, if there's a lot of sugar coming into your body, those receptor sites for that insulin get worn down and then they stop working as well. So that's what's called insulin resistance. They're leaving more blood in I'm sorry, they're leaving more sugar in the blood and that's how our blood sugar starts to go up. But we can have a lot of issues with blood sugar going down as well. You know, when I was in college, I had severe anxiety and panic attacks that were related to hypoglycemia. I had no idea because I really wasn't hungry, but all of a sudden I would feel completely panicked. I would have anxiety, I would be sweating, I would be fatigued. Um, and it was my blood sugar dropping. And when that happens, that dysregulation of blood sugar, that actually makes your body produce more histamine, plus the stress response to that happening makes your body um, produce more mast cells and that makes you produce more histamine as well. So in, there's a couple different studies that I was looking at and one study showed that there was elevated histamine levels in diabetics and another study showed that there's low levels of that DAO enzyme, that enzyme that breaks down histamine in diabetics. And this was a study done on rats. But anyway, it's, they're very tied together. And you know, I have to say that working with so many people with histamine intolerance, I do tend to see lower blood sugar um, related to histamine intolerance rather than diabetes. But low blood sugar is actually a first step into getting diabetes. So if you start to feel like you're really moody or tired or hungry in between meals, it might mean that you have low blood sugar and you may wanna start checking your blood sugar. You can get a glucometer at you know a local store. I have my patients take their blood sugar for about a week. I have them take it when they wake up, so they're fasting blood sugar, and then two hours after a meal and I have them send it to me and I can see if their blood sugar is low or high, or sometimes it's a combination of both. You're just not regulating it properly. So, you know, since the symptoms can really overlap, the symptoms of histamine intolerance and the symptoms of um, dysglycemia, you really need to control your blood sugar as a part of your healing journey with histamine intolerance. So I wrote an article on this. There's a lot more information. And so go ahead and read that article. And thanks for watching.